Probably not. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Amanda Williams, also known as That's Lovely, here today with another video. Ah, I guess it's time for a disclaimer. Mm. I know it's been a little rainy lately, but um, put on your haters blockers on. Sip your tea. Mm. Let the shade begin. Okay, so the last couple months have been a reality check for me. They've been the hardest months in which I truly had to uh, learn about myself. I can't sugarcoat this. I thought I was one person, but um, <laughs> my attitude was saying something else. And um, it's important to have people in your life that can check you when needed, that can tell you about yourself. Make sure that these same people are a credible source. Make sure that they have your best interests at heart. Do they care about you? Do they love you? And then digest the message that they're sending you. So uh, do you have too much attitude? Are you the kind of person that takes things way too personal? Do you get angry way too fast? Do you get upset too fast? Do you never get people the opportunity to express themselves? First off, if the shoe fits, honey, I need you to wear that shoe. Wear it. Ask yourself this question. Are you too stubborn to accept redirection when the problem is you? I'm gonna let that simmer in a little bit. Yeah, half the time we are the problem. But if you're so stuck in your ways that you refuse to see the world for what it is, if you refuse to see reality for what it is, then you're gonna continue to be stuck in your ways. You can't experience change without some level of uncomfort. It needs to hurt. That means if your boyfriend or a girlfriend tells you, honey, uh, it's not working out, I gotta go. We know we're, we're growing apart. It's just, we're not who we're meant to be. Believe it. And before you want to play the blaming game, maybe you should look within yourself and ask yourself, am I even an asset to this person? Am I contributing anything to this person? It hurts, but that's reality. Well, we spend way too much time pointing fingers at other people, just convincing ourselves that other people are the problem, allowing pride, jealousy, when if you would only take that same amount of time that you're dedicating towards doing this. <laughs> There's so much you would learn about yourself. If you're asking, what exactly are you talking about? I'm talking about pride. Pride is one of those things that, first off, everyone has a little bit of it. Choosing to stick by your pride may hurt some friendships and relationships that you currently have. Am I too stubborn to let this pride go? What am I gaining from holding on to this pride? Is it getting me anywhere? To be completely honest, I am one of the most hard-headed people that you might come across. I had to learn the hard way that that attitude, those kind of like emotional habits really won't get me anywhere. So I had to let it go. I truly believe that in order for you to heal yourself, you must be honest with yourself. Spend enough time to focus on the within and be honest with yourself about the person that you truly are. That means accepting all your bad habits and accepting all your mistakes and accepting the person you used to be. Let's be real, the world might judge us, but the person above that really counts won't. I know that I was desperately just wanting to change the person that I was from the inside out and I needed some tools to do it. Thankfully, I do surround myself around people that I truly love. I really needed the support and encouragement of my peers. I'm so, so thankful for it because I'm experiencing the the type of peace, love, and happiness that I've never, never experienced before. And I'm so forever grateful for it. So I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Aside from daily prayer and devotion, there's this app that I came across a couple months ago that has completely changed my entire life. And no, I'm not sponsored, but um, if you're watching and you wanna sponsor me, you can. But it's called a Sprinkle of Jesus. Let me tell you. Sometimes it really feels like the people behind this app, they 
put on some type of microphone in my house and can listen in to all the foolishness that I'm experiencing in my life and then send me daily text messages and they tell me about myself. Not every text message that comes in feels good, but it definitely tells me about me. The last message they sent me said, people only throw shade on what shines. Mm. So my prayer and hope for you today is to realize that pride can sometimes rule your life and you may completely not be aware of it. As a result, many relationships, many opportunities, many blessings may suffer because of it. Lay that thing out of there. You don't want to miss out on opportunities or God's blessing. It's not worth it. You can finally be at peace once you let pride go. I talk about this so much because I feel like people still don't get it. If you do not work on yourself, if you don't work on being the absolute best version of yourself, you don't attract anything that reflects your values and you don't attract anything that reflect your worth. Go ahead and press that reset button in your life and start all over. Let's actually see what we were intended to be in this thing that we call life. I mean, what's our full potential? What is our purpose? Let's go on this journey together. Cheers. I hope you all enjoyed this a crazy video. I hope you didn't run out of tea bags because um, the shade uh, was a little too real. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, you don't want to miss what I have coming up next week. So make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned. And I will see you later. I love you. Okay, bye. Baby, can you handle?